Any questions, thoughts before we move on? Um, so there's there are little examples from the textbook, and it's not necessary that I like them that much. I I prefer examples that more kind of natural from from real world. So we'll see. Um, so I'm not going to really dwell on uh, too much of you know the syntax here. You probably have an idea uh, how method calls looks like and that we need to create uh, um, our things, uh, our, our classes uh, with the new operator. So the class level attributes, of course, those are declared static. Uh, and um, uh, the, those attributes are shared uh, 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 between uh, uh, the entire class. And uh, of course, um, uh, it, it's, it should be noted that if they're made public, then they're also shared with the rest of the application, right? There's still anything that's declared static, static data variable, you know, if, if it becomes public, then there's just one thing, one copy of that thing, if for the entire application, so it really behaves like global data in procedural programming. Okay, so we're done with this presentation, which was uh, something we said advanced uh, uh, concepts for the scope uh, discussion. Uh, scope and visibility are two very similar uh, things. Uh, yes, question. I have one more question about the public. Um, yeah. So if you have a public um, variable and then somewhere in one of the classes you manipulate it or you change it, is that a new result? So is the, you initialized it as zero and then it ended up being two after some calculation. Is it gonna, the whole, all the rest of the classes are gonna see that as the new calculated value or the original initialized value? And so it's the data just, it's updating, are they all looking at the same place in memory where that is changing? Um, if, if it's public, they're all looking at the same thing. But once again, if one part program is using one copy of an object and another part of the program using another copy of an object, then uh, th th you have two public pieces of data. Uh, but if this is the same, uh, the same object and somehow the reference to it is shared from different places uh, in your application, then it's one one piece, one data piece that is being shared. So, um, so that is question for mo more of a more of a scope and visibility, because again, private and public is an in easy answer. All data should be private, right? But yet again, if if you have, I mean, l l let me let me think about the question one more time. So if I, again, try to clarify this a little bit, just to kind of keep it uh, clean like that, or more or less clean. So if, 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 I, have, uh, if I have some, some integer part of this, uh, part of this uh, you know, instance right here, then, uh, you know, I every instance gets it too, right? E everybody has the same copy. Of, of, of an integer or reference to a string. So if, uh, if, if one part of the program right here, you know, the code, uh, goes ahead and modifies this, right, in some way, makes a change. But then another part of the program is using a different copy of an object, then of course it has it has its own copy. So it, ha it has nothing to do with this change. However, this of part of the program is using access to the same object. Then, of course, uh, yeah, I mean, it's whatever is current, right? So, mm, uh, but again, this can be done directly or indirectly because most, mo most of the time when, th when, when this little data piece is, uh, is, is private, in each uh, of these uh, instances of, cla of, of class that we've created, then those arrows probably represent some method calls, which internally, uh, you know, use, update, modify, and so forth, those little data pieces. And uh, so the good news is that there is, there is not much more to it than this. It's really the, 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 the set of rules is, is relatively simple. Q 
Kipps scopes, the smallest, starting with the method, method scope, uh, um, object scope, class scope, uh, and then uh, uh, make sure that all of your data is private. And it will, will then naturally, the programming language will guide you how to use it. Because now, now you can't use directly private data members. Now you have to call a method. Now you have to properly instantiate uh, your, your objects. So all of this, uh, sort of like programming language will be essentially making sure that you're do basically using natural ways to, uh, to, to, to work with, with those categories. But let me tell you something else. There are ways to break good rules of the programming language. So many, many rules in, in many programming languages can be broken and not followed and essentially misused or abused intentionally or unintentionally. So it's really uh, the, the next thing that comes um, in line is your taste which includes, of course, your style and variable naming and class naming, all of this that basically shows who, who you are as a programmer. But, you know, the style and, the, and your taste. And, of course, that relies on your experience, right? So, um, you know, um, the more situations you go through, uh, the, the more experienced you become. And the true experience, I think, comes with, from interaction with other programmers. When you work as a team, uh, you know, part of the team, uh, typically you learn quite a bit. And there are really two types, two categories of programmers. A lot of people love to keep stuff to themselves and almost never share any of their knowledge or their experiences or their, um, you know, mm, preferences to what they like or dislike. And there's other categories that really is pretty open and wants to share and wants to tell their stories and wants to um, uh, um, almost like educate other programmers. So uh, people uh, tend to flock to, 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 to these types of individuals. And typically, my experience is that anytime you try to share it, uh, you know, tell your own uh, version of, of what you've experienced, um, you know, you learned something or you finished a particular part of the program, so typically uh, you, you learn from it. Because if you try to discuss it openly with others, you actually learn a great deal. You're not just sharing, you're actually learning something else. Because people would, would be very happy to give you feedback. Sometimes it's, 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 it's in the form of criticism, but it's still, it's, it's an okay thing to happen. But uh, in terms of the rules, they're really not that complicated. Um, okay. Um, well, thank you. I, I, I appreciate your question. So obviously, it, it makes uh, sense to, to talk about all, all of these, uh, these things. And, and I think my goal is that at this point, we have to be, whatever we discuss here today, we should be relatively comfortable and clear about it. If you look at a program like this, you know, starting perhaps with the main, and then look deeper into the code, of uh, particular classes and if somehow you're getting lost or you feel extremely un it's okay to be a little bit uncomfortable but if you feel extremely uncomfortable you need to ask yourself uh, typically where where I go I, I am say this is a programming language that I don't know anything about uh, or maybe I've used it like seven years ago and now you show me the code and I'm trying to get comfortable. I typically just without um, any, any tricks, I just say, okay, what is this line? Do I understand it? Yes, no. What is the next line? And as soon as you hit a roadblock, for example, you forgot what static is, then you immediately need to kind of refresh your memory just to find out what the, what the, what the official documentation um, says about it so that you at least you understand the syntax. And if you know, okay, it's a static data variable, then uh, you should understand that it's like a, a something, piece of data shared with the rest of the class, then 
you just uh, become a little bit more comfortable and you move on then of course you need to know the basics that okay classes can have constructors right and classes can have methods and those methods obviously call other methods or manipulate the data so uh, you know after all again I'm just saying that uh, mm, uh, I think one of my goals today is that if you really feel extremely uncomfortable I would love to know what what it is that makes you really uncomfortable and so we can discuss a little bit more of this now let's save this um,